Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can we make a template type more specific internally to help with content assist? Let's break down the issue. The viewer is working with a template class structure and is struggling with content assist features in their development environment. They want to ensure that when they use a derived class, the appropriate methods are suggested by the content assist tool. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To make a template type more specific and improve content assist, we can use type traits and helper classes. Let's start by defining our base template class. Next, we create a derived class that will utilize our base class. Here, we will ensure that the derived class is aware of the specific type used in the base class. However, to ensure that content assist works correctly, we need to reflect the template argument from class B into class C. This can be done using type aliases. This approach allows us to maintain better control over the types being used, but we must be cautious about maintainability when refactoring our classes. In conclusion, while there are workarounds to improve content assist with template types, careful design and reflection of types can lead to better maintainability and usability in complex class hierarchies. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To make a template type more specific, you can separate the implementation from the interface in your code. This involves creating a base class with default implementations and a common interface. In the example, class D1 overrides the callback method, while class D2 overrides the F method. This allows for specific behavior in derived classes. Finally, you can test the functionality by creating instances of a template class that uses these derived classes, demonstrating the overridden methods in action. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.